concentration on Highway 24 and Ute Pass because of that. Drivers got that nasty reminder of how long traffic there can be snarled. At first, it was that standoff that shut down the highway yesterday, then a blast of winter weather. Now, the two were a recipe for waiting and waiting and every emotion that comes with hours of being stuck in a vehicle. KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison joins us live along Highway 24 near the entrance to Ute Pass. Scott, you've been asking if there's a solution to this problem. Well, guys, we all know that whether you live in Ute Pass or you're just passing through there, you're at the mercy of precious weather and even crime, as we saw last weekend. But local leaders say there are few options available to avoid it. Ute Pass can be like Colorado's weather. Sometimes you don't know what you'll run into or when you'll come out of it. People in the past learned that again during the weekend standoff in Cascade. If I had to go somewhere, I definitely wouldn't have been able to get back home. Um, and I know a lot of other people probably you know, had to go to work, things like that. Is there any option besides waiting for hours or taking the long way around through Denver or Pueblo? Planners of future road projects say no. Doing safety improvements is one thing, but creating a, another corridor through the, the mountains, uh, that's difficult. Closing part of the highway remains the best way to handle traffic jams in the pass. The sheriff's office says right over there on the westbound side of Highway 24, before the standoff scene, is a turnoff area that drivers could have used to avoid the traffic jam. However, by then, traffic was so congested here, it was hard for drivers to see it and get to it, let alone use it. Authorities say they tried to alert drivers and provide updates, and they learned a lesson. Probably communicating, better finding more ways that we can get the word out, but I believe that we did use and utilize every resource we had available to us. Even popular local detours like Rampart Range Road offer little hope of easing unexpected traffic jams in the past. And authorities say they have discussed another route through Ute Pass since the 70s, but it simply costs too much and there are other priorities. We're live in El Paso County near Ute Pass. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.